Hi what's up everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the top best midrange espresso machines you can buy on Amazon. If you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon. Do you want to know which home espresso machine is best? What do you do when you have thousands of options? Here, you're not just buying a new toothbrush. This is our updated review of espresso machines for 2021. You'll find a few categories below to make it easy for you to find the right machine to suit your budget, kitchen, and style. Just click on the category you want to learn more about. This list is based on my personal opinion and research and lists them based on random numbering. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description below. So let's get started. On number 5 colon Breville the Bambino Plus. My top pick for the barista on a budget, but aspiring to become one, is the Breville Bambino Plus, Sage in Europe. This espresso maker has produced some great shots for me. First glance, it seems like an innocent, vanilla machine. However, don't let your guard down. The Bambino Plus is packed with features and functionality. This product is a lot easier to use and more reliable than its old-school Italian rivals, which haven't really changed for decades. The thermometer, pre-infusion, and brew bar are all built into this machine, not 15, as that's way too high. PIDs ensure consistent temperatures when pulling shots or steaming. The convenience of this feature should not be underestimated. The consequence is that all Italian single boilers do not need to be subjected to temperature surfing. It's also important to mention pre-infusion. The feature is normally only available on computers that are very expensive. A steam wand is also included with the Breville Bambino Plus. I haven't really used the auto steaming feature. In order to use the Bambino to its fullest potential, you must invest in a real espresso basket, or you won't get the best results. However, single wall baskets are inexpensive, so you shouldn't let them deter you. On number 4 colon Gaja Classic Pro. A popular entry-level espresso machine is the Gaja Classic Pro. You also get a real commercial portafilter with it, as well as a sturdy, compact, and Italian design. Like the Roncilio Silvia, it shares many characteristics with its longtime competitor. The Gaja Classic is more affordable than Miss Silvia, and if you ask me, it's a more attractive option after its recent redesign. Despite undergoing a redesign last year, the Gaja Classic is now even better while maintaining an attractive price point. We value the addition of new colors, a better steam wand, and a solenoid valve. If you want the best results, however, you will need to mod this device to get the desired outcomes. The OPV is usually adjusted to reach 9 bars, and a PID thermometer is installed to improve temperature stability. Reviews of espresso machines usually praise its build quality as the best among budget machines, and I must agree. As long as it is taken care of, this model can easily last a decade. While I prefer the Breville Bambino Plus as my first espresso maker, you could experiment with the Gaja and purchase some additional espresso accessories to make the old-school Italian work. On number 3 colon the third best home espresso machine. In the long-term customer base, Roncilio Silvia is often referred to as Miss Silvia. It's because she's somewhat like an Italian lady with a strong will. Her kindness and thick, textured espresso shots will reward you for treating her with respect. If, however, you're less diligent about making cappuccino and espresso, your results will suffer. Thus, Roncilio Silvia has been a benchmark for more than two decades when it comes to home espresso makers. It has a vintage Italian look, a stainless steel portafilter of 58mm, and a stainless steel trooper. This is a great option if you want to learn how to make classic Italian espresso or cappuccinos. Unlike some of its competitors, it does not include an integrated bit thermometer. There is a cost difference between the Gaja Classic and this machine, but it has a bigger drip tray, more steam power, and a larger boiler. There are a lot of similarities between the two machines, but Sylvia should be your pick if you're mainly planning to make milk-based drinks. On number 2 Colon Flare Small Espresso Machine 2021 Recent years have seen a rise in the popularity of manual espresso machines. Though it has always existed, no one ever took it seriously. Changing times have brought about this. Manual espresso coffee makers have produced some of the best shots I have ever had. One of the most popular devices is the Flare Home Espresso Maker, which is simple to operate and super light. With its carrying case and 7 pounds weight, it is ideal for weekend excursions. But there's a catch, it's a pure espresso machine, there's no milk frother, so there won't be latte machines here. I predict that Flare will remain extremely popular this year, too, as it has been referred to as one of the best deals for espresso machines in 2019 and 2020. On number 1, DeLonghi Didica. That's pretty much what you'd expect from a home espresso machine for a beginner. 
This ultra-compact device doesn't really have any bells and whistles, apart from its compact design. A pressurized portafilter comes with the DeLonghi Dedica, which uses 15 bar pressure. By investing in a precision basket with a single wall, you can significantly improve your shots. It will work pretty well with pre-ground coffee or essay pods if you're not interested in pulling authentic espresso shots. Steam wands are typically found on beginner machines, and are referred to as Panarello. It's pretty easy to modify this for better microphone. An entry-level machine that performs well. There's no need for much counter space, and it has that nostalgic Italian vibe that some people especially love. Over thousand Amazon reviews affirm that it is a tried and tested model. So guys this was the video about the best mid-range espresso machines. Dot all the links are given in the description, do check them out. If you enjoyed the video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.